Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and um, whoever else is watching out there. Um, for the fourth video of the day, I, I honestly can't believe I'm doing another video. This day has been absolutely bonkers, and if there's a picture that can sum up this day, I'm going to pull it up on my phone and show it to the camera because I'm going to credit B-Hawks memes, Blackhawks memes on Instagram. Uh, this picture right here has summed up the day pretty well. If you can't tell, that is the picture of the guy coming in with the pizza. The ground is on fire. There's a guy with the hose and there's a bunch of kids in the corner. The one the guy put, put, put in the hose is Kane to Detroit. The thing on fire on the ground is Perry's contract termination. And now the thing on the right with all the kids hiding is the Bavillier trade to Chicago. That's what this video is about. This isn't the BFR. I'll do the BFR after since I have time. But November 28th has been a crazy day for Chicago Blackhawks fans. Kane's Kane signs with Detroit. Perry's contract's terminated for, um, eventually, essentially the reasoning was something with an employee. It wasn't that, it was something on inappropriate conduct with an employee. Um, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do a video on it because it's really not that, it's, it's not that intense, like if it was, say, the rumors about him and Connor Bedard's mom. Um, but, I'm glad to say it's untrue, but we're just going to talk about quickly about the Bavillier trade. Anthony Bavillier, the Vancouver Canuck and the former New York Islander, is now a member of the Chicago Blackhawks. He has two goals and six assists through eight, game, eight, eight, eight points in 22 games played with Vancouver. He's been mostly playing on the fourth line. He was part of the, one of the pieces came, that came back in the Bo Horvat deal. And um, he's just not had it with Vancouver this season. And so hopefully a change of scenery in Chicago will help. He had 40 points last year and he's got eight so far. And with Perry out of the lineup, he slides right into that spot, and we'll see if he can get going with some offensive weapons on this uh, team right now with Bedard and see if he can get Reichel going possibly. He's a winger. Um, he's, I've seen him take faceoffs, however, so we'll see how he goes there. Um, and Vancouver gets a conditional fifth-round pickback as well as cap space. For the Canucks, this is pretty good. They get some cap space so they can work with a little bit. That's what they've been something they've been trying to acquire. And so for both teams, I think this works out pretty decently for them. But, yeah, that's going to be all I have for you guys in this one. Uh, tell me down below what you think of the minor trade. It broke during the first period, so I didn't get a chance to get a video out. And I think I'm going to do the BFR right after this, but I might post the BFR tomorrow just so it's not overloaded. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.